Now, I really didn't think that I'd be making a video like this in 2020 about 4K versus HD when we've got 6K and 8K. But there's something that's really been bothering me. And there's a whole group of YouTubers and creators that tell you that there's no difference between 4K and HD. And technically there's a difference, but you cannot see the difference when you watch it on YouTube or even if you were watching it at home on your TV. Now, I don't know if this is just a feel good thing to make you feel better that you're recording in HD and not 4K because you actually wanna just save space and you want your computer to perform faster and you don't wanna to have to struggle with 4K footage in an editing program, but it's an absolute lie. There is a huge difference between the quality of 4K and HD. And I'm gonna explain it to you. Full HD is when your camera records 1920 pixels by 1080 pixels leaving you essentially with 2 million pixels, making it a 2 megapixel image. There's 2 million pixels of data, 2 million pixels of pieces of an image that the sensor saw that's actually getting displayed to you. That's pretty much what full HD is. 4K on the other hand is 3840 by 2160, pretty much meaning around 8.2 megapixels, 8.2 million pixels. So essentially four times the amount of pixels that you'd get on an HD camera to a 4K camera. So there's four times as much data, four times as many pixels that have been captured projecting onto your screen that you are going to watch. We're not gonna get into the debate about 3840 is actually not 4K, it's supposed to be 4096. The technical guys understand that, but generally 3840, 2160, that is 4K. Now, I know there's a lot of tech guys watching this and saying, yes, but you can't see the difference on a cell phone and I'm going to crop in on footage. And then there's gonna be a lot of people say, well, you don't crop in on footage when you watch it. But let me explain something. So look at this image. To scale it down, a full HD video fits into a 4K video four times. Add those vertical and horizontals together and there's the 4K 3840 by 2160 that we were just speaking about. Now I'm gonna to explain to you the reason why you should crop in to explain the difference to someone watching it like you. This phone is playing a 4K video. Crop it in as if it was on a 27 inch display. Now you understand. If you look at the area that the phone now displays, it's far more zoomed in that I'm gonna show you right now. But I'm just trying to explain to you why you need to zoom it in because when you're watching it on a bigger screen, this is where 4K is getting noticed. Likewise, this phone to a 65 inch TV, look how small the phone actually is. Actually, even if you're watching a 4K video on an HD screen, it will be clearer. It's just how it works. Now we could get into the relevant viewing distances from a device and you need to be X amount of distances away to see a certain amount of clarity, but we're not gonna get into that. We're gonna get into the principle that 4K is a lot better than HD. And I'm not gonna show you a whole bunch of random super fast clips and mix it between HD and 4K and try and fool you because yes, if you've seen a whole bunch of random clips side by side and they fast moving and fast paced, you probably couldn't tell the difference. But when you watch a real 4K video, the difference is unbelievable. Check this out. This is a 1080 shot, full HD, 10 bit. This is 4K. Now sure, you probably can't see the difference. Now let's crop in on both. This is a 200% crop. Now I want you to look at the wording steel series on the headphones. And let's go in a little bit more, 400%. You can clearly read the text on the 4K version. And not just that, look at the edging around the cups on the headphones, how perfect they are. Let's look at another example. This one's gonna blow your mind. This is a shot outside, full HD, 10 bit, 4K, 10 bit. Yeah, you probably can't see the difference. Remember, you can't see the difference because you're viewing it on a pretty small screen. Now I want you to make sure that when you are streaming this to see the difference, you have select the highest quality settings, which is going to be 4K. Even if you chose full HD, you're still going to see the significant difference. Let's crop in at 200%. Already you can see that the bricks are a lot clearer on the 4K image. Let's go in at 400%. I think you see where this is going. There's not even a comparison between full HD and 4K. Now on that 400% crop, go back to the example that I showed you earlier. That wasn't even 400% where we were comparing the phone to a 27 inch monitor. That's probably around 800%. As you blow it up, you need to imagine that that picture's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. When creators are editing this type of footage, we are generally looking at a down sampled screen. There's not many creators that still export it in full HD 
or export it in 4K and put them side by side on two 27 inch monitors. We just look at it over here and go, oh yeah, we can't really see the difference. Keeping in mind, this is a 27 inch monitor and we're looking at a down sampled small little screen insert of my player, which is a little bit bigger than an iPhone 10. Let's look at another example, another full HD 10 bit, 4K 10 bit. Let's go in at 200%. Already you can start to see a difference. Look at the leaves. The image on the left actually looks out of focus. You can't even see the details on the windmill properly. Let's look at another example. Full HD 10 bit. Yeah, you probably can't see the difference. 4K 10 bit. 200% crop. Now you can start to see the difference. Let's get in at 400%. The difference between Full HD and 4K is huge. If anyone is telling you that you can't really see a difference, yeah, I 100% agree that if you're looking at it on a cell phone, Full HD or 4K, you probably can't see much of a difference. If you're looking at Full HD and 4K in your tiny little editing window, yeah, you're probably not gonna see the difference because you're either editing proxies or half-res images on Premiere Pro because your computer can't keep up in real time to edit 4K footage. I have seen far too many forums and groups on social media and YouTube videos that people say full HD and 4K, you can't really tell the difference. Now, yeah, you probably can't tell the difference on your phone. So if you're making videos for Instagram or Facebook, sure, film in full HD, no problem. But if you're making professional videos for clients, whether it be wedding films and people are watching generally on a 55 to 75 inch TV nowadays, 4K makes a huge difference. Not only that, but it prolongs the life of that video. So when everyone starts buying 4K and 8K TVs, at least your content's not gonna look really bad when everyone starts moving to 85 inch TVs. So I hope this has made it a little bit clearer for you guys and explain the difference between full HD and 4K rather than just the generic video that says, oh, look here, you can't see the difference and you're probably watching it on your cell phone. If this made it clearer for you, please smash the like button, hit the subscribe button and turn on that notification bell. We make a lot of videos around content creation and just, you know, the YouTube journey in general. So thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one. Wherever you are in the world, have a good day, good evening, good night, goodbye.